When the spring arrives and the temperatures warm, what will happen when all that snow starts to melt? That's the question Minnesota forecasters try to answer every year. Still across most of Minnesota, we do have some flood warnings. And the possibility of flooding is becoming a reality. Some localized street flooding will develop this weekend. When winter brings a heavy snowpack that contains a lot of water, they start to worry about spring flooding. That's because a lot of snow on the ground turns into tons of water when the spring warm-up happens. Then where does all that water go? Some of it soaks into the ground, if it can. But that can't happen if the melt happens early and the ground is still frozen, or if it's already saturated from heavy rains before winter. Some of the water can also run into streams and rivers. But if they are already high, they can't hold much more water before spilling over their banks. Wetlands are good at holding excess water, but if they've been filled in and paved over for development, the water flows more quickly across the land into rivers and streams. The biggest factor in whether the springtime thaw will turn into a springtime flood? How quickly the snow melts. A cold spring with extra snow followed by a quick thaw could lead to widespread flooding. The best case scenario is slowly warming days with lower temperatures at night that slow the pace of melting snow and ice. That's what forecasters and hydrologists like James Fallon hope for. And hopefully we get a nice gradual warm up and we don't have any rain and then the water can kind of leak out. Until that thaw happens, flood forecasters prepare for the worst and hope for the best.